All right, hey, this is Bakari Shivanu with Mac Automation Tips. Hey, I want to come back with another video about ClickUp, and I've already done one to kind of give you an overview of why I like uh, the application and why I, why I switched from it from uh, to do is to to click up uh, what I want to do is kind of dig in a little deeper on one of the features that I really really like about click up and that is the statuses features here now like I said in my first video typical you know task managers deal with just having a list of you know ideas or to do's uh, tasks that you want to do and basically all you can do is pretty much just click those ideas off and you know when you're done right but in uh, in, in click up uh, basically, what you can do is create what's called stat statuses, and that means that's the you know you're looking at outlining the status of 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 each kind of workflow of an idea, right? And so, let me show you how that looks in terms of my setup here, because you can create uh, custom statuses in ClickUp. You, you're not you know you don't have to just use just the default ones that they provide. So if I look at this particular idea, you know, 10 recommended Mac applications and features, right? Um, it goes through uh, these steps so far. And this is the ones that I've created so far. You know, I might still change it, but this is what I have. So I have the idea. So I have, you know, this is the idea. I have a whole bunch of those. Then I might go through and, and I will go through and look at what am I going to do next? Because that's very important. Oftentimes I created some ideas, but I can't always get around to doing those ideas, of course. So it might, I might be able to come back to, to it next week, next month, even a year. So, but anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to mark what, what I want to do next. So when I, then after I do that, I'm going to outline the, um, the idea, outline the video uh, with some of the notes that I have. And, and off to the side right now, I'm use, actually using those notes for this particular video. And then I'm going to produce the video at that stage. Again, I might outline it and I might leave it for a while, come back in a couple of days and, you know, finally get to the, to the produce stage. Right. And then if I need to revise it, make some revisions, I'll, I'll move it to that stage um, and then go ahead and post it. And then if I need to, I will update it, um, then promote it and repurpose it. And then it's done. Right. And when it's done, it's still kind of in my list there. It's still kind of in my workflow there. So ClickUp does not knows that this done, but it's not taken out of the um, it's not taken out of the workflow here. It's taken out of the workflow when, when I push when I select complete. So these are the stages that I kind of go through um, for producing a a YouTube video here. And a lot of times what you find is that what status is or just kind of, you know, kind of board kind of step by step, um, status by status type approach. This typically works mostly for, for teams. So, so if you have, you know, three or four people and, and you're kind of working on the same project or the same video and, and maybe, you know, different people work on different things, um, this is very useful. But it's also useful for individuals like myself, because again, I don't, I don't always get, you know, I wish I could sometimes kind of go through this list and get it all done in one setting. Now that, that's ideal. And sometimes I actually do, but sometimes I don't always be able, I'm able to do that because I have other tasks and other things, other responsibilities. So being able to use this status is kind of keeps me kind of aware of where I'm at in the process, particularly from idea to do next, because I have, you can see quite a few ideas here and they always kind of growing, but, um, you know, I, I gotta, I gotta figure out, okay, what am I going to do next year? Because, you know, I got to keep things moving. So, um, so that's, that's where I, 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 I utilize this. And so when you do this, you can, you can go down and you can click, you know, where, where you are in the status here. And then what you have is like, you can collapse this list cause it's too long. So you can see, and then you can, and what it do is it'll break it up by, um, you know, the do next, um, here, produce videos here. Here's a couple of things that I got to like right now, you know, custom click up statuses for blog posts. That's the one I'm working on right now. So I'm producing that video at this stage. Right. And then I will, after I do that, I will move it to the, uh, promote stage here. And so then, um, I have one here called, you know, why I use ClickUp, which was the last uh, video I did. And I needed to uh, promote, promote it some more. I've already promoted it, but I needed to do some more promotion on it uh, before I get it to uh, the done stage here. So let me show you a little bit um, how to um, set up statuses. So I'm going to edit 
uh, list statuses here. And, and basically, once you create a list like I have here, once you create a list um, in, in, in ClickUp, you can just kind of right click anywhere here. And you can say, you know, edit list statuses here. And you notice that I have a lot of different statuses that I've already uh, uh, have created. And I'm going to, matter of fact, I'm going to get rid of some of them. Because actually, if you see that I have, these are called match statuses in number three. Because I have actually uh, added to this status, um, like here's number, number two here, where I didn't have a few statuses in there. And the more that I'm using this, I'm realizing, okay, I need to add this status here, this particular step in the workflow process, right? And so here's one I created, and I can actually now get rid of it because I don't need it. Um, let's click that done. And then I can go to uh, the one is three here. So basically, you can just you can just add new statuses here, and then once you add a new status, um, you can uh, you know add a, you can change the color to it as well. Now, like I think I said in the last video, um, you can you can take one of these statuses and create it as a done status. And as it says here, done tasks are not considered overdue and will unblock any dependencies waiting on them. So if you, and I don't use dependencies too much at all in ClickUp, but if you're kind of using that, that's what it, that's what the purpose of the done status is. And then when you go down to close status, closed tasks are done and will be hidden from view by default. This is the last task a last stage of the task, right? And so in ClickUp, you really never, you know, like trash, you can, you can trash things that you've deleted, but it's always really much there. You can always just hide stuff if you want as well. So that's the beauty of that. So you can create these statuses and then you can save the status as a template. Um, unfortunately, you cannot overwrite a status. So if you want it, if I change this again, I would need to create a new template uh, for that. I can't overwrite, overwrite one. All right. So then you just save it there as usual and have it set up. See, so that's, that's really useful. Again, if you're working in teams or if you're working in, and, um, if you're working in, 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 um, individually, and then you can also go into, um, I don't really use the board for this particular, uh, projects, uh, for my YouTube videos. But uh, it's, if you if you like that kind of you know board layout there, you can do that, and um, you can actually you know close boards here. So here's all the ones some ones that I've done, click completed here, and then I can go back and I can close these by here if it just gets too crowded, right? So you can do that, and you can also move them around. So I can move this from to, to uh, the do next uh, column to the outline column. So you can do you can do that, and you can save you can save the the, the board um, uh, for for later, right? And you can also filter um, your statuses. So I have here just a done list, right? And these are uh, just the, all the ones all the videos that I've done. Uh, well, at least maybe not all of them, but the ones that I've kind of added to it and that I've done in the past, right? So they're my done list. And the reason why I keep the done list here is because I use a, um, a label here where I can come back and when I have time to go back and look at these videos and say, hey, you know, should I do something else with these videos? They've been there for a while. Uh, should I re, you know, should I promote them again? Do a follow up, repurpose them in some kind of way, so I can label those as well. So I haven't had a chance to do that yet. But basically, those those are based on a filter. And if you look at the filter here, um, the filter is you know any any all tasks that are that are are in the done um, stage, right? Those get filtered into uh, this list which I uh, saved. Um, as a, as a list. So you can create all kind of, you know, list, um, for yourself and basically based on the type of fil uh, filtering that, that you do. So I, I, you know, I hope that you find this useful, um, you know, for yourself and, um, again, just get in there and just kind of experiment with it and, you know, create your own statuses based upon your workflow needs because that's basically what it is is just a workflow uh, a process that you go through to get a project or get a task done because a, tr a lot of times in you know the problem with most traditional task managers is is just kind of like you know click it off and that's it and and we know that it's not that simple sometimes you have to it takes you know 
more than one day or so to get a task um, completed. So again, I hope you have, I hope you find this useful. If you have any questions, just hit me up with the uh, comment in the comment section and definitely hit that uh, like button. Um, if you're liking these videos, I'm going to try to produce a few more videos on ClickUp. Um, so because I really think that this is a useful program for people to um, check out. Thanks a lot.